Okay, so planes of symmetry are not the easiest thing to get your head around. It's basically like reflection line, like mirror lines for two-dimensional shapes, but for three-dimensional shapes. And it's um, somewhere that you can cut along um, the shape that you'd have identical shapes to the left and right of the line that you cut, or to either side of the line you cut. So I'm just going to go through them for this. Um, and the first one is down the middle here. If I just draw it on, I'm rubbish at getting the perspective right. But it would be this one here. If you cut it down there, it would be the same left and right. And it's a cuboid, so we can't guarantee the length is the same. So it will be um, a line along there. Similarly, um, we've got one along here. And that will also be a plane. And then, none surprisingly, the last one is cutting it down this side. Okay, now you might think, well, what about diagonally? Now, I can't really explain it too well, but basically, if you think about a square, you wouldn't think that there would be a mirror line down the diagonal because the point here would end up over here. So it would look like this when you folded it. Okay, So it won't work with a rectangle. It won't work with a cuboid. You do get those lines with a cube when everything's even. Um, you get um, a, a nine lines of uh, nine planes of symmetry with a cube. With a cuboid, you only get three. So my answer is three.